Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. It's very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The action has already started. Pogba. Shaw. Shaw. Rashford. Referee has just said play on. Zanuta looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Hits one! Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Dinks one in. He's had a goal! Worth a try, but not this time. Yeah, quick thinking and the right choice for me, but that was difficult to get right. Besic comes under pressure and it's come loose. And the counter is on. Right through the middle. Can he finish? Goal! Manchester United! Manchester United take the lead. Manchester United draw first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. Crunching tackle, and it's Pogba. Plays it back, looks to dink one in, and out to safety. <laughs> Played it short, up he gets! <laughs> Sticks it away! All too easy, they are in danger of disappearing out of sight.
Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Oh, not quite. Rashford. Look at the defender bombing forward. Big chance here. Can he put it away? They are rampant. Sumptuous second. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Manchester United have hit a quick-fire double here. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Plays it out to the flank. Lovely bit of skill there. Looks one over, whipped in. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Aimed long and direct. And it's Igalo. Shaw. Goes looking. Boots it to safety. The weighted pass, and it's hoisted clear. Shaw. Up to meet it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. The three's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. As easy as one, two, three, it really has been that straightforward. Halfway through the match, but very little to see, Peter. But please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Manchester United very much in control here. Three up and cruising. And we are already promptly back on the way. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Forward it goes. Gorgeous control there. Shot a goal! In it goes! It could be a life! The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. So is this the start of a comeback? Bye. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Rashford. that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And it's Igalo. Has he picked him out? He's got a... He's had a shot! Back of the... 
Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward at one plus two. It was all very well drilled. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Manchester United lost themselves into a three-goal lead. Jack Yelka. And that's a throw. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Oh, it would have been fabulous had the timing matched the pass. Pity. Good interception. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Yeah, it looks like uh, he didn't. So the ball's got out of play and a change is upcoming. It upfield looks to clip it forward. Good ball, it's one. No mistake, it is no contest. Manchester United tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. And he's onside. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, good ball. Is there any support? He might not need it. Now a chance to break. Hogberg plays it forward. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. All the way back and they start again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Hopper tries to get it forward quickly. Here it comes. Now, can he cap it off? And the shot! Surely this time he scored! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul.
Manchester United totally rampant here. Nicolo. Well played, he saw that coming. And that will be the final act. Manchester United, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.